This is the lock nest, and today we will talk about antique combination locks. So combination locks were invented uh, one millennium ago uh, by Arabs. Then um, in uh, the middle of uh, 1500, uh, some German locks created the letter lock. Then from there, um, nothing has changed uh, that much for uh, the locks with uh, rolls like the one you can see a little bit here. But uh, in uh, 1825, uh, there is an engineer, a French engineer, um, named uh, Edmé Regnier, which invented the combination locks where uh, the combination can be changed. So this was uh, a big step forward. So the main improvement he made is that he used two rings uh, instead of one ring with a notch to be able to um, uh, set a system which allows to change uh, the code. So uh, how this kind of lock works? So it's pretty simple. Uh, you can see here uh, how it's, you set the code. So you can see it's a little bit difficult here to set the code because there is no uh, isolation between each ring and when you turn one ring, so sometimes the other are turning two. So you usually need your two, two hands, you set them, and when the code is set, like that, the, left part, the right part moves and release the, the shackle. So this is a stem which is really simple. Uh, so the stem works like a standard locking system. You have a groove in the in the um, the cylinder, and then uh, on the pole here, the pole which moves out, uh, you have some um, how to say fins, which goes in the groove if the code is uh, is good. So here, move like that. Uh, I think we. Can see we'll be able to see it on another one. So what uh, Edmé uh, um, Regnier uh, did is that he used two cylinder instead of one. So one cylinder which has notch inside and one cylinder which has a kind of fin. So here you can see it's uh, the fin is created by uh, a punch in the brass cylinder, but on uh, other models you can see that uh, here the the system uh, can use a simple uh, steel steel fin here. So it has some advantage and some uh, drawbacks, but uh, you will find uh, usually a lot of ones with uh, with the fin like that. So what you do is when you want to change the code, it's very simple. You set the all the code. Uh, you align all the, the, the doors, the, yeah, the gates. Um, and here I will align them here. Like that should be okay. The pole goes out. So here you can see the, the fin in the pole, which goes in this notch. And uh, if you don't align correctly, it doesn't go in the notch. So it can't move correctly. So you set it in the position you want. And then you can uh, just put the, the rings with the, all these grooves to the good one. So you put like that, yep, E, and uh, an L here. The code is Michel, like that. So then when it's done, uh, you can um, just screw the right part and then you have your code if you fill up like that it's closed you can set and uh, you have something very uh, good so what the difference between uh, these uh, locks is that uh, you can see here for example you have a number three here you have a number four and a number five here on this one uh, this has nothing to do with the, the number of uh, wheels on, on the lock. This is, in fact, the size of the wheel. You can see here, this one is smaller than this one, and this one is smaller than this one. So if you have a number six or higher, 
uh, you can have uh, just four or five uh, wheels, but it will be a bigger lock. So depending on the number, you may have more uh, uh, possible combination because you may have more letters on, um, on each wheel. So uh, when you want to, to pick such lock, um, you have to know that th there is kind of issue. At the beginning, uh, I said that uh, the issue is that sometimes when you rotate um, a wheel, other rotates because there is no isolation between uh, the wheels. And uh, when you want to apply tension, unlike other uh, standard locks you may find, usually you just have to pull on the shackle. So if it's fixed to something, you pull on the lock and then you can uh, rotate the wheels. With this lock, the thing is the tension goes on the right. So it's quite difficult because if there is a pole here, you will not be able by pulling on the lock to apply tension. So you will have, need to have a hand which pull on, uh, on the right. And if you try to rotate the, the wheels, you may have the wheels you, which will rotate uh, even if you don't want them to rotate. So this is kind of an issue. Um, one solution I use when I, um, I try to find the combination of such lock is I use uh, this kind of, of thread for the one you, you, you can f use for a gift box, for example. And what I do, is I put it in the lock like that. It's very thin. So in fact, you can move it quite easily um, here between the, between the wheel, usually between the wheel and um, here like that. So put like that, you can fix uh, the thread to something at the top. And then you have your two hands to at the same time apply tension and keep uh, the, the wheels you want to keep in good position and with one hand and rotate the other with the other hand. So this is a really a, an easy way to uh, pick this lock. There is no difficulties in picking this one. Uh, it's quite easy. Uh, there is no false gates or thing like that. Uh, maybe if you have a very strong uh, a magnet, uh, you may try to find the gate because if you have uh, inside a wing which is made of steel, you can, with a very strong magnet, magnet you can feel where uh, it will be if you get the magnet close to, to the lock. So, uh, there are very, very cool locks, um, but uh, if you want to buy some on internet, uh, you may have to, uh, to, to pay attention to a few things. First, uh, sometimes you will find locks like that which don't have code. And you have to be very careful because uh, there is two meaning uh, about not having a code for this kind of lock, is that uh, the person don't know the code. But the other uh, option is that the person doesn't know the code because the lock doesn't work. And uh, I can show you one of the issues. Uh, so in some lock, you have the fins, which are made of, um, of steel. So they are subject to rust. And here is a, is a good example. You have a lock which looks in very good condition, uh, made uh, entirely of brass. But the thing is, the fins inside are made of uh, steel. Uh, I will try to remove this one. Yeah. So you can see here, you can see the, all the, the fins. And you have one fin, two fin, and oh, these one were completely rusted and disappeared. So it's nearly impossible to, it's very hard to, 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 to find a code because uh, if you apply tension a little bit on uh, this wheel, then the external wheel may rotate freely around the, the system. So, and you may not be able to use it. So uh, you have to know that this kind of things uh, can happen. Uh, you, you have to be careful too that uh, it's possible that some locks uh, may uh, not be um, um, 
recodable. So you, you may not be able to change the code. Um, so you may uh, have to ask the person who sell the, the lock to be sure that uh, this is exactly uh, what you are looking for. Uh, regarding the style of locks, usually you can find them uh, made of steel with uh, wheels made of brass or completely made of brass. Um, and the number of uh, wheels goes from five, uh, three to six. I've never seen one with seven, but it's possible that it exists. And the size can be quite big. There, I think there are some which are nearly close to... Um, the, the size of the, the wheel is really uh, bigger like that. Um, for sure, uh, you may find uh, the most common are four wheels, some five wheels. When you go to six wheel, it's uh, way less common. Um, that's it. Uh, something uh, you may have noted in this one and you may find in other lock is usually in the middle of the lock, you have uh, one of the wheels which has a hole. And this hole, in fact, is used to... Um, to fix usually to 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 set uh, the the here you can see to put a, a kind of rivet to fix the 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 pole system you know see you have an external uh, cylinder but you have an inner cylinder which goes all along the the system and uh, so there is a rivet here which is um, put here during the assembly process through the hole in, in the wheel. And all the other lock has the same uh, hole to, um, to put that uh, in place. So uh, that's all I, I have for you today. If you are interested in this kind of lock and want to get one, maybe you can check a, take a look at my uh, eBay store. There is a link in the description. Uh, if you want to see more videos about uh, high security locks and French locks, you can um, subscribe to my YouTube channel or uh, like my uh, Facebook page. The link is in the description too. And uh, you can follow Instagram too. There is a link uh, where I put uh, from time to time pictures of uh, French lock or very special locks. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a nice day. Bye.